macros. I think everyone's kind of heard this term lately. Are you counting your macros? Do you have a good macro balance? So the root word to macro is macronutrients. Macronutrients are, are pretty much everything that makes up our food. So uh, when they say macronutrients, most people are, are counting for the three main. So you have proteins, carbs, and fats. And then they're gonna they're talking about the percentage of those three things balanced out through your day. So I'm just gonna give you a little bit about what I do. I'm on a pretty much even split, minus 10% because it can't be completely even with three macros. I am 40% carbs, 30% protein, and 30% fat in my day. So what I do is I track it through an app called MyPlate. Really good app. I'll leave a link in the description below for it. And I'll also link to my video on MyPlate. I'll do more in the future, but it's a really good way to kind of understand your food. Very efficient when it comes down to tracking food. So check that out. But for a normal person, say you don't even want to deal with that. You just need to understand those three elements. You have proteins, carbs, and fats. These three things make up pretty much every food that we eat. Alcohols also, they have calorie uh, density, but we're not gonna talk about alcohol. You need to understand those three macros and how they work for you. If you wanna lose weight, you may wanna drop your carbs a little bit and go for a little bit higher fat and sustain protein. If you want to build muscle, you need to keep that higher carb in the 40% range because you need the carbohydrates for muscle growth, along with protein. It's not just a protein game. If you get too much protein, you're just gonna have, you're gonna have digestive issues. I know for me, when I get above 40% protein, you better watch out because <laughs> I'm gonna have farts. I mean, period. It, it's gonna happen. But I, I fart up the storm. It's not good. So a good balance to maintain body weight. 40% of my daily intake is carbs, 30% protein, and 30% fats. So with that balance, it is really easy to have balanced meals you'd be surprised at how much food you can actually get in and in one meal of those three combinations I usually do two servings of, of, of my protein proteins you, you know mainly you want to stick with your lean proteins your chickens your turkey your uh, your duck it's a little fatty but you can go in that direction your lamb any of your meats are gonna be a good source of protein. I'll do a nice size portion of carbohydrates. I usually tend to lean toward a complex carb. Your carbs are gonna be your pastas, your rice, your sugars, your vegetables, your potatoes. And by fats, that's really built into both. I mean, depending on the meat you eat, you're gonna have an increase in fat. Your fats are gonna be your nuts, avocado, oils, things like that. What you want to do as a rule of thumb is it'll be a fist. If you're not going to count your macros, think about it like this, whenever you eat a meal. One serving of, of protein is going to be a fist size. So it's probably going to be about six ounces of, of, of protein. So like a piece of chicken. And then your carbs are going to be open palm. So your carbohydrates will be here. This is how many carbs you should eat. And then this is how much fat you should eat or thumb. Which this one's the hard one because you have fat and protein. So it's kind of hard, but if you, if, you, if you do track it, it just makes it that much easier. So focus to stay away from a lot of the oils. I mean, you might do a tablespoon, a teaspoon of something, you know, in your meal but um, the fats are the tough one. And that's where people actually, it sneaks up on them. They don't realize how dense fat is. One gram of fat is nine calories. And so 
it it's much more dense and it, it, it'll it'll build up on you fast. So you won't even realize it, and you will have eaten a lot more fat than you should have. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more content.